Hello, Scrabble here, coming at you with Dark Souls Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, I thought I had been recording for the last 10 minutes, but I have not been recording. So, here's what you missed. You missed uh, some tongue twisters. I did some tongue twisters, which is not really relevant. I went and got the Very Large Ember. I forgot to read the Very Large Ember in my inventory. I leveled up and put the point into Vitality, so Vitality and Endurance are both at 32, and Dex is way behind at 21. I gave the Very Large Ember to the Blacksmith of Astora down here, who was very happy. None of my stuff can level up to 15, though. And I'm looking for wherever this Lord Soul might be that I just picked up, right? We picked up... Oh, it's a key, right? Seal of the Four Kings, Soul of the Four Kings, who fell too dark. A uh, fragment of a Lord Soul. Ah, Lord Gwyn recognized the foresight of these four great leaders of New Londo and granted them their ranks and the fragments of a great soul. Although this is not a full Lord Soul, it can still satiate the Lord Vessel. So, unfortunately, I missed that stuff or missed recording that stuff, and I apologize, but that's the way it goes. Funny that we can warp down to the Abyss when there's seemed to be absolutely nothing down there which is kind of strange. We are going to go back to Firelink and we are going to head down into the catacombs. So we do get to do that, which I said I was going to do. And unfortunately, I really apologize for missing the recording on that very large amber. I only noticed when my uh, computer timed out and turned the monitor off, which doesn't happen when I'm recording. Yeah, someone had asked me about uh, vocal exercises that I might do before recording, and that's where the comment about... Um, where am I going here? That's where the comment came up regarding tongue twisters. It said, Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers. The Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Pepper pick? That's something that I might say, for example. Come on, wake up. I want to bequeath the Lord soul. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Got it. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Oh, you know what? I bet I, yeah, I could have just warped down there. I'm sorry. I am Is it... Uh, we're going to warp. Very well. We don't need to watch the video. I just wanted to come down here. And it totally didn't occur to me that I could probably just warp to this bonfire. Firelink altar. Okay, now we just need one more. Oh, we got sunlight and firelink altars. Cool. All right, into the catacombs. We're going to switch our black iron halberd for the divine halberd plus five that we made just a couple episodes ago. Divine weapons are for undead hunting. Use against undead and the pawns of necromancers. So I think the last soul, and I would have to verify with the intro, but I think the last soul was with Nito, and Nito's lantern, I think, is a lantern for the catacombs, and that's why I think I need to go to the catacombs. And you're like, why does he think he has to go to the catacombs? That's why. Uh, 66 would be, what, 132? So the bit heavy. We're going to switch off for the composite bow. We got wooden arrows. We're going to switch those out for large arrows. We'll keep the moonlight. That's fine. And there we go. Divine Halberd. We're back to poking. Whoop. I guess that's a swing, but we're back to poking, generally speaking. Hey, man. Oh, hello there. You've been a stranger these days. Yeah, I'm busy. Spectacular pyromancy. I don't have any. I have never seen anything like it. What are you talking about? Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. Who? I'm in your debt once again. The pyromancer's flame is, is a I don't know who he's talking body. about. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. What are you talking about? Be safe, friend. 
I have no idea. Apparently I told them something. About a girl. No clue. Whatsoever. No idea. Okay, onwards! Who the catacombs? Ah! Ah, I missed. That was actually right there that I wanted to poke. Perfect. Yes, you guys are easy. I know you barely hurt me. Poor guy. Ah! Is he dead? No. Now he's dead. Okay. I'm not really concerned about damage from this guy, to be honest. Oh, crap. That's not what we wanted. Eh. was rough. Whoa! Well, I was like, oh, he just knocked off, didn't he? He didn't! Hey, now he's dead. It's 500? 500. No idea what's down there. I don't know if coming through the catacombs is going to reveal that to me. So last time I was here, I noticed that the Skeletons respawned endlessly. And that was annoying for obvious reasons. I got a hundred, so I assume he's dead permanently. Divine weapons, way to go. Okay, we're gonna climb into this crap. Where skeletons will appear, no doubt. Whew, a lot of bodies down here, eh? That crunch beneath my feet is the sound of bones. Okay, another two dead. These guys don't seem too bad with the uh, divine weapon. I imagine, though, that endless skeletons are a pain in the butt because that's what I experienced last time I was here. Hey, okay, there's another dead one. Nothing there, but we do have a hole down here. Looks like someone was trying to dig around it. Alright, that hollow thing is dead. That had a thousand? A thousand souls on that guy. Crazy. Hey, we got a bonfire. Perfect. And we will not forget to rest at it. Okay, we don't have to kindle it. No kindling needed. We have 10 Estus. If we die here, we'll kindle it. We'll probably die here. Looks like the door above opened. 
That priest didn't come back when we rested. That's interesting. Hey, they're dead. Uh, where'd we go? Ooh, I like this. Now, all these statues here, they look like they're grave markers, which makes sense for Kedek. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. These might be catacombs, but they're pretty pretty. Hello. I see you have uh, desired to be a skeleton wheel. Fortunately for you, you're not a skeleton wheel. Okay, we get uh, dudes over there with the fire. Whoa! Very heavy on the pyromancy, those guys, eh? Fog wall down there. Whoa. Gotcha. Whoa. The heck was that? Okay, so this dude's trying to lead me in, right? What if I just hop out there and get him? There we go. I am not waiting for that crap, man. Okay, that does look a little far to fall. Ooh, okay, up and around the left we got an archer. Important to keep in mind. Nice! But you're dead. That was still very nice. Lucerne? What the heck is that? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna go here. Check out that Lucerne. Whoa! Oh, looks like a pickaxe. That's a halberd! Okay, halberd with large... Hard beak-like protrusion inflicts thrust damage. Instead of thrusting like a spear, the wielder of the Lucer aims to club the head with its hard beak. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> it's probably better than the Halberd. Oh, well, the Halberd has the Divine. It deals Divine damage in addition. I believe it's in addition to regular damage. He has no shield. Excellent. Dead. Jump! Woo! -hoo. And you're dead. I was thinking I'd heal, but I don't really have any reason to now, do I? Ooh, a lot of skeletons that way. Yep, and there's the archer I was looking for! Dead. Okay, I got him. Yeah, he was shooting me down there before. That's why I came this way. I was like, ah, probably an archer. Uh, looks like we had a whole bunch of skeletons that way, right? Yeah. Oh, and another one of those uh, fire dudes. So we definitely have to go that way. But I thought there was another way in here. This way? Uh, not actually a way, just a very short little path. Okay. 
I want to use one of my Estus, but I know it would be a waste right now. Like, I don't need it at the moment. Whoa. Ah! Whoa! Now I need my Estus. There we go. Yeah, I want to go behind these rocks, because I know there's a Pyromancer over there. But, I mean, the skeletons aren't any threat. Red and white round shields. Okay, what's that? I mean, I'm pretty positive it's garbage for me, since I'm using the Black Knight shield, but... I'd like to take a look. Round wooden shield crafted, crafted in Lordran, featuring an impressive red and white design. That's impressive. The giant trees in Lordran are distant offspring of great stone arch trees. This shield inherits their properties, and the wood greatly reduces magic damage. Cool. Again, not too concerned, but cool. We've got another lever over here, just like the other one that we experienced. Ah, oh, there's one over there, too. It's really, really nice. I really like the waterfalls. I thought the catacombs were going to be really dark and ugly, but that just hasn't been the case at all, has it? What'd that lever do? I'm not actually sure it did anything. Whoa! I have stamina. That probably hurt. Okay, you die. There we go. That's all I wanted from you. What's this? Whoa! Huh. Whoa! We got tight night twinklers! Yeah, I'm trying to roll here. Apparently at some point we activated those dudes as traps. They were not traps before, but they are definitely traps now. Okay, so I think all this is soft. Oh no. Like, do I have to walk through it? Maybe I gotta walk through it. Maybe that's a requirement. Why would I even climb up here? There it is. Okay. Ah, uh, now I'm down here. Wait! Oh, I see, I see, I see. That totally twisted the bridge. That's what that does. So the bridge was twisted originally, and I couldn't make it down there. I mean, we could roll down there now and uh, head over that way. 
Looks like I could probably just drop down and go through that door, right? But there's the question of what am I missing in here? Probably a great deal. Huh. Look, that guy was, like, clutching that statue. Come on, someone come at me. Are they both dead? No. Now they're both dead. Huh. These dudes all died of the skeletons? Touching the blood stain, nothing's happening. Stuff down there for sure. Okay. Looks like there's stuff over here. Oh! Oh. It's just one of the souls, man. And there's nothing else down here. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Some fire dude must have fallen off something at some point, right? Because we got a thousand. That guy seems to be an idiot. A lot of these guys are not very smart. Um, okay, I mean, there's something up there, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, I push the thing only because we probably have to. Try jumping. That's rough, because it... Oh! Oh gosh. Oh, I was gonna say, it does look like we can jump. When someone tells you to try jumping, you don't usually trust, right? Oh, I just... Skull Lantern! Got it! Whoa, I actually... Hold on. Just in case something attacks me here. Whoa! Oh, no! Uh-oh. I wanted to look at my skull lantern, but I fell down the hole. Uh... That thing looks vicious. Huh. What? Probably get a sin if I attack that guy. We found... Bonfire. Isn't that interesting? I wonder if we can warp down here. Possible. That guy's digging. I'm gonna check the items. I'm betting that was a ring. 
it wasn't a ring, I'm betting it acts like a shield. Look at the shields. Yep, skull lantern right there. Weapon, a type, lantern attacks, strike, skull lantern of the catacombs necromancer droops from his long beard locks. This lantern alights the tomb of giants. Nito's light devouring. Oh, Nito's light devouring domain of death also serves as a fire damage strike weapon. So we can use it. Light something up. He opened this path for us. Whoa! I imagine these guys would spoil your focus, dude. Hmm. That dude even still alive? Did you just roll off something significant? I think we still have... No, they dropped the wheels. Okay, so I can't guarantee that guy's alive. Oh, I missed! Alright, well he's dead now. Man, these wheel guys, super cool. Really, really like the wheel guys. Oh, if I can't get up there, I'm not gonna be able to get that guy, right? Boy, there's a lot of these dudes. Oh! Alright, he's dead. Oh, I should have, uh, kindled. Those the floating heads? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Lots of wheel guys down here that I don't really care about. The Tomb of Giants, then, should be this way. Or the other way, but I should be really close to the Tomb of Giants. Can't get up there from here, so there's got to be a way to fall down on that. Where am I? Like a giant canyon? Charmer ahead. So we got a woman this way? Okay, we're going in. This is going to be where we end the episode. Well, I thought it'd be a boss, but maybe it's not a boss. Huh. Or maybe it is a boss. <laughs> what is this? It's cool. Screenshot. Okay, pinwheel. What is pinwheel? Sorry, I was just bombarded with children here. Whoa! Ah! Someone has told me about this boss, I think.
You know, I think when I was told about this boss, I was told in the concept of, this is not really a boss. By the right of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the normal limit. That sounds cool. Weakness anywhere. <laughs> That's great. Boss question mark. Weakness attacking. Uh, and the mask of the child. Okay, what's that? That's great. Love it. Elation ahead. Was that guy elation? There's gotta be a way out of here. Let's check first the mask of the child, which I think is probably armor. Come on, there it is. One of the three masks of the pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. Well, he's dead now. This mask, belonging to the naive child, slightly raises recovery stamina speed. Well, it does not look very good, and that would explain why he was not very strong. And let's check out the Rite of Kindling, which is probably a key item. Yeah, there it is. Rite which boosts bonfires even further. This secret rite allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling so that even more Estus can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found little use for humanity until they turned undead. Well, that sounds really promising, and I look forward to getting something even further. But where do I go from here? Oh, climb up. I saw a climb up right here. Okay. Okay, Pinwheel's dead. The Lord of the Catacombs is gone. We've got Nito's Flame, so we should be able to get into the Tomb of the Giants. What is that? Oh, it's one of those. It's going to be... Nope, similar to the... Uh, Seath area, right? So we're headed down that way. Tomb of the Giants. Perfect. Where do we set it alight? Like here? Do we set it? Oh yeah, we probably light that up. See like a couple floating eyes or something down there. All right. We are going to stop here for today, which is pretty good. We got through the catacombs to the Tomb of Giants. We beat a boss with Pinwheel, who at least seems to be a boss. <laughs> I'm sure that's the boss. People were telling me, no idea if that's actually a boss. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Dark Souls Remastered, I'm curious to know what's through the Tomb of Giants, and I'm very interested in fighting Nito. Feel free to subscribe, plus it helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video, comment on the video. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.